Mark? Uh, yes, yeah. it is. All right. All right, uh, the first item on our agenda is a continued public hearing for 50 South Ave, Eddie V's. Come up and reintroduce yourself and give us some new information, so why don't you go over that so we can have another discussion. Absolutely. Uh, good evening. Landon White from Site and Handsome Services, 6001 NIMS Parkway, South End, Indiana, representing the Eddie V's on 50 South Avenue. Uh, as you have before you is the revised sign package uh, to date um, removing uh, one of the signs around that drive-through uh, ex exterior structure so now there's uh, only these six signs here um, and so from the original application the well the relief requested letters obviously will change slightly but to uh, correspond to this package it would be sign a sign D and sign F that we're still uh, requesting relief from the zoning ordinance from uh, sign A based on the overall height uh, that it code limits uh, wall signs that they may not exceed the roof line and we're asking that this be uh, recognized as a uh, technicality since it doesn't extend to, it's, it's no it's not a roof sign nor does it extend above the the highest structure it's located on the parapet so requesting or asking it to be considered in that form sign B is conforming sign C is also conforming based on location and size sign D is the other sign that we're requesting relief from and, and uh, zoning ordinance limits blade signs to four feet in overall height we had originally proposed an eight foot tall sign uh, asking that based on the language uh, the design was restructured remanufactured uh, and based on the clear space, we're asking for really for a five foot overall height sign. And then sign E is conforming to the code. Sign F is what we are, uh, I believe to be um, the primary point of concern in this sign proposal um, based on the overall height and based on the size. And so um, we, we believe that this, based on the travel patterns, based on traffic patterns, that, that this sign is going to be necessary to provide that advanced notification, provide specifically for south, southbound traffic with that grade change. We don't believe that the, the wall signs provide the proper advanced notification. Wall signs, as you all know, is, is more beneficial to serve as interior wayfinding than exterior wayfinding for the, the traveling public. And so we're asking the sign be um, granted as well so I'd love to answer any questions you have and, and, and offer any clarification that may be needed All right, Mark you want to start uh, sure uh, <clears throat> I, I don't have uh, based upon what I'm seeing on uh, page three which is of, of your revised plan and Yeti V's prime seafood. I think it, uh, you know, it it seems to fit uh, in the uh, area. I think, as you indicated, below the the, the roof line, uh, it seems to fit well in that space. Uh, the next one was D. Correct. Right? And you you made a change, right? You reduced the size of uh, of D, right? Yes, from the original proposal. Last last month was a bit of a debacle, so that, it didn't change from that package, right. but from the initial. So. Yeah, so I, you know, that one doesn't, uh, I don't object to that one. That was, the, the one that I, I do have a problem with is the one that's out on uh, Middlesex Turnpike, which is F, right? That's mm -hmm. the, and uh, I, I just don't um, agree with, uh, I know you said the traffic patterns are such that uh, you, know, you don't think you're getting enough visibility, but based upon what I heard the last hearing, it, uh, it sounded like the area in front of the restaurant, which goes up that rise there, which has some trees or mm -hmm. bushes on it, you seemed to indicate that that was gonna be removed, is that? Is that a fair? And that's that's not. 
you would I would assume as long as they have control over that property that's I, I wasn't able to get the landlord to give me a clear-cut answer on whether that'd be allowed or not that's kind of beyond what we do but okay I would assume so and so but even if you know based upon the photos that I observed I I thought there was and I've always thought you know I've lived in town for you know 60 years so and I've always thought that that area up there uh, had visibility when it was macaroni grill or where mm -hmm. whatever it was it always uh, you know stood above the the horizon up there you know so to speak you mm -hmm. know so I, I don't uh, I don't think it's really necessary so. the other signs I, I okay. no objection. Charles um, yeah I pretty much have the same um, opinion the other two signs I have no problem with it's just sign F that uh, I really don't really don't want to see anything on that road at all and I, I don't really see that it'll help um, either so uh, I concur with, with the, the previous two gentlemen um, you know it's the, the way that that block is it, you could either take the left you know depending on which way you're coming from either go you know behind Thomasville or behind the movie theater to get to that area so you know if you the way that that area is set up if you miss one you miss one turn you can always catch the next one you know, I, I do think that there's plenty of visibility. I don't think that the previous businesses um, failed due to lack of visibility. I, and I don't think that the, I just, I'm okay with A and D. Okay. Jim. Yeah, I would, I would agree as well. Um, do you happen to know the height of the old macaroni building in comparison to? No, uh, we don't, sir, well, there's probably records somewhere, but above my pay grade. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the only reason I ask is I agree. It's the visibility from <clears throat> Middlesex Turnpike, at least from Macaroni Grill, it was, it was very visible. You know, you could see it very clearly um, going south or north. So um, that's the only reason I ask. All right, yeah. I um, I think we're kind of all on the same page here. I think with your, um, I think with sign C and sign A, sign A isn't directly facing the road, but with the height of it, I think you'll get visibility out of that from the road. I know you're set back, but um, I think with those two signs facing the turnpike, I think you definitely have visibility there. So I would agree um, that I think sign F is just I'd un, you know not to contradict you but I don't think it's necessary um, I think you know on top of that the size of it's just too much um, if I was even going to consider it so um, can I well and I want to respect all of your time so I, mm -hmm. I'm not going to beat a bear, be the dead horse if, if not unnecessary but I do have a couple two alternatives if I'd be able to submit those? Well, yeah, we'll, ta we'll take a look at them. Yeah. And these obviously are not uh, superimposed on any graphics. They're just for directory purposes. Uh, the front page is currently proposed. Uh, we did take into consideration a, a multi-tenant sign. Uh, Mr. Rapport, as you mentioned last month but that's something that the uh, the Darden restaurants just didn't want to pursue for whatever purposes sure um, they didn't want to have to fit the bill of a, a sign to pay for someone else's representation all that stuff so um, page two shows then a smaller size panel uh, 50 square foot the the size the the height and size I mean, they're hoping to negotiate at any point and again I don't want to Think of any, anybody's time unnecessarily. Uh, sign three then shows actually the, uh, an identical size sign to then what is sign uh, G or excuse me E uh, at 25 square foot at six feet in overall height. The, the main one of the the main points that maybe I failed to mention is that 
th this sign would provide an opportunity for, for southbound traffic at that intersection to then avoid having to congest the, the stoplight uh, south of the property, possibly providing the advance notification for uh, motorists to then make that right-hand turn on Burlington Mall uh, Road. But again, uh, these are for your consideration. Um, and the, I mean, I guess the comments I would, I mean, even this, uh, the smallest one you have here is six by eight, eight foot four. Mm -hmm. And, you know, again, I think your other two signs, the one that directly faces the turnpike and the other one that you could see at an angle, this isn't, I mean, six by eight isn't just like a wayfinding sign for people, you know, I think, again, I know I just mentioned the size of it. I mean, the other one was <laughs> way too big, and I, I, don't, I didn't want you to, you know, get the wrong idea. But I, I, you'd be, you were thinking something more along the lines of a. a yeah, two well, no, I mean, like I said, that's if I was even thinking that I would answer. approve it. You know, monument signs and town. Like we, this kind of, it's not just this property. This could open, you know, a lot. Don't want to set precedent. Like yeah, that. exactly. That's the type of thing. So, um, I mean, I appreciate, you know. Have you given us the options, you know, we're, we're, we're willing to take a look at, you know, whatever you have. So, but um, I think, I mean, unless anyone else has comments, I think you kind of heard that the monument sign is kind of a, mm -hmm. a a stop on that one. Not that the rest of the signs wouldn't get approved, but yeah. Um, so, does anyone else have any more comments? Or no, does I anyone want to make a motion? Um, does it make sense to split this out? Or? Um, yeah, I mean, we could probably just approve, what is it, A and E, and then just yeah. deny E, deny F, yeah. We don't probably, we don't have to do three. We don't have to do three, no. We have to close the public hearing, though. Oh, yes. Uh, do like a motion to close the public hearing? Second. Motion made and seconded to close the public hearing. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? One, five, zero. Um... Okay, a motion to approve or deny any of these signs. Um, I'll make a motion to approve. Sign A. Wall sign. As shown on H3. Drawing submitted with the plan, page three. Uh, dated September 14th, 2018. Uh, and sign D. Uh, it's a projecting sign. As shown on page six. Plans dated September 14th, 2018. Page six of 12. The condition that their sign is not to exceed 90 lumens per square foot and no other sign, even if by right. I think you have to say something about F being denied. We're going to do the approval so you're as do a one. one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll second that. Uh, the motion is made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? 5 0. You want to uh, continue? Yep. <laughs> I make a motion to deny. Sign F. Second. Uh, motion is made and seconded to deny. Uh, sign F. Um, should we reference these plans? Yeah. Uh, for the plans dated. September 14th, 2018, shown on page 8 of 12. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 5 0. All right, thank you for coming out. Yeah. Thanks for your time. Absolutely. When uh, do you know when they're going to they're open? Open date is not set until February, February, March. Okay. But they're going to start construction, I think, at the end of, uh, or beginning of December. 
that's when I think they start moving dirt. Oh, and they're gonna they're thinking they're gonna open in February. No, I have those dates wrong. I think it's a later. I think it's a later opening. That it might be an April opening. Okay. Yeah. But generally, they they wait until the holidays and. And yeah, that's yeah, that makes April sense. Sounds better. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all. all right. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Um, Make a motion to approve the minutes. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. Make a motion to adjourn. <laughs> second. Second. <laughs> motion made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right. Meeting is adjourned.